brothers, sisters, disciples, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant Almighty God, through the yearly observances of Holy Lent, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Sing 
திருத்தூதர் பீதுரு எழுதிய முதல் திருமுகத்திலிருந்து வாசகம் அன்புக்குரியவர்களே கிறிஸ்துவும் உங்கள் பாவங்களின் பொருட்டு ஒரே முறையாக இறந்தார் அவர் உங்களை கடவுளிடம் கொண்டு சேர்க்கவே இறந்தார் நீதியுள்ளவராகிய அவர் நீதியற்றவர்களுக்காக இறந்தார் மனித இயல்போடிருந்த அவர் இறந்தார் எனினும் ஆவிக்குரிய இயல்புடையவராய் உயிர் பெற்றிருந்தார் அந்நிலையில் அவர் காவலில் இருந்த ஆவியிடம் போய் தம் செய்தியை அறிவித்தார் நோவா பேழையை செய்து கொண்டிருந்த நாள்களில் பொறுமையோடு காத்து கொண்டிருந்த கடவுளை அந்த ஆவிகள் ஏற்றுக்கொள்ளவில்லை சிலர் அதாவது எட்டு பேர் மட்டும் அந்த பேழையில் தண்ணீர் வழியாக தண்ணீரானது திருமுழுக்கிற்கு பின்னடையாளம் இத்திருமுழுக்கிற்கு உடலின் அழுக்கை போக்கும் செயல் அல்ல அது மனச்சான்றுடன் கடவுளுக்கு தரும் வாக்குறுதியாகும் இது இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவின் உயிர் தெருதல் வழியாக இப்போது உங்களுக்கு மீட்பு அளிக்கிறது அவர் வான தூதர்களையும் அதிகாரங்களையும் வல்லமைகளையும் தமக்கு பணிய வைத்து விண்ணுலகம் சென்று கடவுளின் வலப்பக்கம் இருக்கிறார் வழங்கும் அருள்வாக்கு does not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of God The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the wilderness, and he remained there for forty days, and was tempted by Satan. He was with the wild beasts, and the angels looked after him. After John had been arrested, Jesus went into Galilee. There he proclaimed the good news from God. The time has come, he said, and the kingdom of God is close at hand. Repent and believe the good news. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So let us stand for and proclaim our creed together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. 
God from God, light from light, true God. Put this we there after it's next to my chair. Consubstantial with the Father. With Through me. him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Your Eminence, Easter is drawing near, and so this catechumen, whom I now present to you, are completing their periods of preparation. They have found strength in God's grace and support in our community's prayer and example. Now, they ask that after the celebration of the Sripatini, they'll be allowed to participate in the sacrament of baptism, confirmation, and the Eucharist. Those who are to be chosen in Christ, please stand together with your godparent when your name is called. Silicon. We invite the catechumens from the parish of Christ the King. Joseph Low Hock Tai. Amy Lin Kim Lian, Esther Lai Wei Hua, Francis Tio Hyang Hun, Joshua Dan Balan Balakrishna, Stephen Satiskuma Munyani, Lexika Velaba, Maritan. Patricia Lumban Gao, Robert Chua Yu Kok. Please be seated from the parish of St. Michael. the Church of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Patricia Warilia. Please be seated. From the Church of Our Lady of Good Health. The candidates are William Michael, Joyce Maria, Please be seated. 
from the Church of St. Anthony. Hendrix, Trinisha, Joshua, Evangeline, Peter Viani, John Viani, Tasni. Please be seated from the Church of the Holy Name. Elisha N. Lin Ho Fen Ping, Emmanuel Heng Bun Hao, Thomas Tan Yi Liang, Jesse Tan J C, Kenis Ng Shi Hui, Catherine Yong Sui Hong, Amos Cornelius Tiagamani, John Minggu Anak Jangga, Fredison Jerome. Please be seated from the Church of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary and Saints Chastan and Ingo. Ezra Ilamaran Munyandi, Carmel Rina Mantiana Rusi, Jacqueline Juita Ingi, Helen Sophia Aprianti Sitoham, and Sugantini Vasu, Cheryl Magisbury Gopalan, Peter Arokyam, Sharina Sri Peter, Mari Mari Iyayu, Joyce Chun Yenmi. Please be seated from the minor basilica of St. Anne. Cindy Wong Han Min, Joseph Lim Fong Chong, Augustine Hugh Heng Li, Emmanuel Wang Hong Ki, Harvin Wigginess, Crystal Bawithra Kumar, Jessica, daughter of Michael Nyanamani. Odo Go Chong Siong, Cecilia Tam Chi Ching, Phoebe Lim Hui Ting, Wendy Teo Yan Lin, Joe Tan King Chua, Nicole Lee Hui Ying, Janet Lo Ka Hui. Cornelia Ko Tian Li, Andrew Li Fat Chu, Martha Ng Sui Hong, Jacqueline Chin Chin Ping, Annie Ong Mei Yan, Faustina Chua Li Ching, Mark Be Ku Chai. Christopher Wong Chun Yen, Nicholas Song Yi Zing, Hans Li Chiao Han, Felicia Lin So Chin, Terence Ong Hong Jie, Ethan Ong Kai Fe, Therese Li Roshuan. Emanuela Li Hei Matilda Anja Anna Kuda, Eleonora Noria Anna Anna Sagi, Gemma Natalia Natasa Anna John Naga, Vincent Kelvin J Sangai Anna Kujang. Julieta Lorita Anna Sagi, Michael Brian Yangau Anna Lorita, Mary Marilyn Mani Anna Sali, Joseph Dexter Boston, 
and Catherine Karen Binti Miran. Please be seated from the Cathedral of the Holy Spirit. Alex Tan Peng Sun, Benedict Jeffrey Unyang Anak Sen, Benjamin Paul Ng Chun Guan, Debbie Therese Lee Lin Jun, Esther Camila Pasi Anak Tokwan Sinetami, Henry Emmanuel Chi Wee Sen Henry Ho E Moon Murphy O Shen Wei Ragel Augustine Rodel Bin Janidi Victoria Yu Lin Ming Ellen Beck Chu Bun Michelle Chiang So I Karen Chu Chun Kang and William Teng Kun Long. Please be seated from the Church of Divine Mercy. Lawrence Yong Ming Yun, Peter Sin Yang Chung, Manfred Yap Ping Ho, James Tan Chong Yi, Joel Nathaniel Fong Ka Wai, Francis Felicity Lubin, Therese Michelle Anak Martin, Johanna Penolin Surak, Clara Nova Situmurang, and Gabriela Srita Anak Pumpuan Subrayan. Please be seated from the Church of the Holy Name of Jesus. Please be seated from the Church of the Immaculate Conception. Abigail Parimalan Devi, Cecilia Mui Chia Chien, Dorothy Kam Siu Chu, Faustina Lai Cheng Man, Francis Lai Cheng Yi, Jessica Neo Su Fei, Judy Shatimalan Dure, Mark Ling Kai Hin, and Rebecca Chia Wee Chia. Please be seated from the Church of the Immaculate Conception. Sorry, from the Church of the Risen Christ. Lawrence Boy Kokchi, Nicholas Chin Wing Wa, Noel Chin Ziyang, Michael Ragunath Analaki Ramakrishnan, Eurelia Saneha Anapropon Alphonsus, Teresa Devi Anajan, Jane Chiu E. G. Catherine Chua Su Ling, Eunice Lee Chi Wan, and William Lam Pat Hong.
please be seated and sit in parish. Sarah Suguna Anthony, Jo Kim Wang Kong Yu, Mark Wu Yuki, Sharon Yeo Yin Ming, Matthew Yang Sui Fa, Michael Kai Kong On, Dixon Yong Cheng Siong, Melina N. Madura, Marin Midani Chandra Sikran, and Mark Ong Fuk Kai. Catechumens and Godparents, please stand. The celebrant will now address the assembly, beginning with the Godparents of the Catechumens. God's Holy Church wishes to know whether these Catechumens are sufficiently prepared to be enrolled among the elect for the coming celebration of Easter. And so, I speak first of all to you, their godparents. Have they faithfully listened to God's word proclaimed by the church? Have they responded to that word and begun to walk in God's presence? Have they shared the company of their Christian brothers and sisters and joined them in prayer? Facilitators and congregation, please stand. And now I speak to you, the facilitators of these catechumens, and you, my brothers and sisters in this assembly. Are you ready to support the testimony expressed about these catechumens and include them in your prayer and affection as we move towards Easter? Catechumens. Catechumens, please remain standing while the rest of the congregation may sit. Invitation and enrollment of names. The, the celebrant now advises the catechumens of their acceptance and asks them to declare their own intentions. Now, my dear catechumens, I address you. Your own godparents and facilitators and this entire community have spoken in your favor. The church, in the name of Christ, accepts their judgment and calls you to the Easter sacraments. Since you have already heard the call of Christ, you must now express your response to that call clearly and in the presence of the whole church. Therefore, do you wish to enter fully into the life of the church through the sacraments of baptism, confirmation and the Eucharist together then offer your names for enrollment signing of the book of the elect each parish will now hand over to the celebrant the book of the elect containing the names of all the catechumens of the parish catechumens you may be seated from the Church of Christ the King. Joseph Michael, Joseph 
Church of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Church of Our Lady of Good Health. Church of Saint Anthony. Church of the Holy Name of Mary. Church of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary and Saints Justin and England. Minor Basilica of Saint Anne. Cathedral of the Holy Spirit. Church of Divine Mercy. Church of the Holy Name of Jesus. Church of the Immaculate Conception. Church of the Risen Christ. Catechumens, please stand and respond clearly. Catechumens, you are no longer catechumens. Now you are called members of the elect. I now declare you with great joy on behalf of our diocese, our church, I declare you to be members of the elect to be initiated into the sacred mysteries of the forthcoming Easter Vigil. All together? To Louder? To 
God is always faithful to those he calls. Now it is your duty as it is ours both to be faithful to him in return and to strive courageously to reach the faithfulness of truth which your election opens up to you. God parents, you have spoken in favor of these catechumens. Accept them now as chosen in the Lord and continue to sustain them through your loving care and example until they come to share in the sacraments of God's life. I now invite you to place your right hand on their shoulder as a gesture of receiving them to your care. And while you do that, And while you place your right hands on their shoulders, we will have the intercessory press. Godparents, please stand. Elect, please face your godparents. Congregation, please stand. My brothers and sisters, in the beginning of this period of Lent, we look forward to celebrating at Easter the life-giving mysteries of the Lord's suffering, death and resurrection. These elect whom we bring with us to the Easter sacraments will look to us for an example of Christian renewal. Let us pray to the Lord for them and for ourselves that we may be renewed by one another's efforts and together come to share in the joys of Easter. Before I pray over you, I invite you to sit down and let me share some reflections with you. On this beautiful day, 
on this memorable day for you and for the diocese. Tomorrow I will do the same rite of election in another part of the diocese in Perak. So it is wonderful to know that our family is growing. The first slide. Well, we may think about baptism as membership in the church. Well, membership is fine. Membership comes with privileges, with rights, with duties. But more than membership, I urge all of you who are going to be baptized and all of you who are already baptized, the church is moving, the Holy Spirit is moving the church all over the world in the direction of discipleship and not just membership. Discipleship is more than membership and I even dare to say with some fear that one can be a member of a church and maybe not yet be a disciple of Jesus Christ. The first reading today so beautifully told us the story of Noah and his family. Noah was more than just a member. He indeed was a disciple. And how do we know he was a disciple? The reading tells us that God entered a covenant with Noah. Brothers, sisters, sons, daughters, Baptism is a covenant. Baptism is a relationship. And therefore, we must move the entire church in the direction of discipleship beyond membership. Belonging to Jesus Christ Jesus Christ who revealed to us the Trinitarian God in communion with the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Yes, that's like we are church and because we are church and because we are disciples, we are on mission. Mission is going to be a very, very, very important word for every baptized Catholic. So let me summarize what the readings are inviting us today on this first Sunday of Lent as we enter the 40 days and these 40 days are preparation for Easter and preparation for your baptism. So you can see Disciple Next Slide is the center of the story, discipleship. And discipleship invites us to repentance. Repentance and belief in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes, we want to come out of our slavery. Whatever we are slaves of. Whoever we are slaves to. We want to come out of slavery and believe the gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ, the gospel of joy, the gospel of mercy, the gospel of hope. And this invites us to participate as disciples both in mission and in communion. The next slide. Pope Francis, in his message to all of us for Lent 2024, said, The way of repentance the way of the gospel, the way of communion and mission and participation is the only way, the way of repentance and the gospel to true freedom. And I believe there's everyone here, those to be baptized and those already baptized, young and old, we all long for this true freedom. The last slide. And this true freedom 
as we know involves time involves testing involves maturing in the faith do you notice that in today's gospel after his baptism not before his baptism jesus christ was baptized like many of you as an adult at the age of 30 and after his baptism he was led to the desert by the holy spirit and was tested by the devil you too will be tested not before your baptism only but maybe even more after your baptism but one thing you can be sure of when you enter the desert like jesus with jesus the holy spirit is with you wherever you will be tested whoever will test you however it comes you are not alone do not be afraid let me address to all of you in our national language paus franciscus pope francis memulakan pesan prapaska ini pada tahun ini dengan mengingatkan kita bahawa apabila Tuhan menyatakan sabdanya seperti hari ini kepada kita secara langsung ia menjanjikan pembebasan dan sepanjang 40 hari masa prapaska ini saya mau mengajak dan menjemput saudara-saudari untuk melalui jalan menuju pembebasan iaitu dengan semangat pertobatan kepercayaan kepada Injil kesatuan dan kebersamaan serta misi ajakan ini juga ingin saya tujukan kepada semua calon yang telah dipilih untuk pembaptisan seramai 148 pada hari ini dari Kelantan, Kedah, Perlis, Perak dan Penang dan lebih esok di Perak yang pada hari pasca nanti yang akan datang dalam lebih kurang 40 hari akan menerima sakramen pembaptisan, pengkuatan dan ekaristi sakramen yang akan membukakan untuk kamu sebuah kehidupan baru dalam roh kudus dan dalam kebebasan apabila kita menyebut mengenai jalan pembebasan yang sejati kita juga harus ingat bahawa ia memerlukan proses seumur hidup dan akan memakan masa ia akan melibatkan ujian atau percobaan dan memerlukan kematangan selepas kita dibaptis bukan sahaja sebelum tetapi lebih-lebih selepas sama seperti bacaan Injil yang kita dengar tadi Yesus memanggil mengambil masa bukan sehari atau tujuh hari tetapi empat puluh hari di padang gurun salah satu sebab Yesus masuk ke padang gurun sepanjang empat puluh hari adalah untuk mempersiapkan dirinya untuk melakukan misi atau kehendak Allah sesudah pembaptisan sepanjang empat puluh hari itu Yesus melalui pelbagai ujian dan cobaan dia juga dicobai si iblis tetapi adakah ujian itu sekadar gangguan dari si iblis untuk menjatuhkan dan menghalang Yesus untuk melakukan misi yang diberikan oleh Allah sendiri tidak 
saudara-saudari seperti ujian yang dilalui oleh Yesus di padang gurun dan apapun ujian cobaan yang kamu lalui di dalam dunia ini sebenarnya memurnikan kita all testing will purify us and will purify the church daripada segala ikatan-ikatan yang menghalang kita untuk bebas betul-betul bebas di dalam roh dan dalam masa prapaska ini kita diajak untuk menjadi perlahan dan berhenti sebentar jika kita tidak berhenti sekejap dapatkah kita mendengar tangisan penderitaan saudara-saudari kita dapatkah kita mendengar suara Tuhan dan ungkapan kasihnya kepada kita masa prapaskah ini juga adalah ajakan bagi setiap komuniti katolik untuk melakukan satu menawarkan waktu kepada setiap orang untuk merenung semula gaya hidup mereka through those three strong traditional activities of lent which is prayer that means more intense prayer fasting and alms giving melalui kehadiran mereka dalam masyarakat dan sumbangan yang mereka buat untuk memperbaikinya ya tuhan ingin menguji siapkah hidup kita untuk melakukan misi dan kehendak Allah kerana mereka yang sedia menerima Kristus dan siap melakukan misinya adalah murid Yesus yang sejati menjadi ahli gereja apabila sudah dibaptis tidak bermaksud kita juga adalah murid Yesus maka untuk menjadi murid Yesus kita dibentuk dan menjadi matang dalam suatu tempo masa yang panjang bukan hanya sehari dua dan percayalah apa yang dapat kamu lakukan bersama Yesus sepanjang 40 hari yang akan datang satu persiapan yang hebat untuk kamu semua and i promise you as your bishop all of you going to be baptized that i will be in solidarity with you in prayer i will be with you in prayer that is my promise semoga ketiga-tiga perkara ini masa percobaan serta kematangan sebagai murid-murid Kristus as disciples dan sebagai gereja dalam misi menyediakan kita ke arah kebebasan sejati amin So please stand and I will now pray over the elect. Father of love and power, it is your will to establish everything in Christ Jesus and to draw us all to his embracing love. Guide the elect of your church, strengthen them in their vocation, build them into the kingdom of your son and seal them. with the spirit of your promise we ask this through christ our lord amen elect please remain standing congregation please be seated my dear elect although you cannot yet uh, participate in the lord's eucharist which we are going to celebrate now stay with us don't go back stay with us 
as a sign of our hope that all God's children will eat and drink with the Lord and work with His Spirit to recreate the face of the earth. Thanks be to God. This concludes the celebration of the rite of election. We will now continue with the prayer for the sinner. Together, we stand before you, Holy Spirit. As we gather together, if you alone to guide us, make us a tone in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path. No partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you who are at work in every place and time in the communion of the Father and the Son forever and ever. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Give us the right dispositions, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings for which for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, by abstaining forty long days from earthly food, he consecrated through his fast the pattern of our Lenten observance, and by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice, so that celebrating worthily the Paschal mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal Feast. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Let us pray as disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, be thy, name. thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day in our holy day, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from. Bapa kami yang ada di syurga, datanglah kerajaan, jadilah kemuliaan di atas bumi seperti di dalam syurga. Berilah kami rezeki pada hari kesalahan, seperti Woman的天父,愿你的名受神养,愿你的子义奉行在人间,如同在天上,求你今天赏给我们瑞用的舍良,求你宽恕我们的罪过,如同我们宽恕别人一样,不要让我们心意诱惑,但求我们免于凶
samadana dhamma i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church on the faith of the elect and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit marilah kita memberi salam damai antara satu sama lain This is Jesus the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb.
let us pray renewed now with heavenly food heavenly bread by which faith is nourished hope increased and charity strengthened we pray o lord that we may learn to hunger for christ the true and living bread and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth true christ our lord amen Few announcements. We now invite Father Edmund Wood, parish priest of the city parish, for a short speech. Good evening, everyone. I think we still have one more job to do before we get the blessing from the cardinal, and that is to congratulate. All those catechumens who have been raised to the order of the elect. So we want to thank Cardinal Sebastian for raising this occasion, for raising the catechumens to that of to be members of the elect. So thank you, Cardinal. I want to thank also all the facilitators of the RCIA from the different parishes for bringing the elect here today. So thank you. It's been a difficult job, but you are doing really very well. You were on time, despite I think traffic jam. <laughs> a lot of people coming into Penang because of the Hokkien New Year. So I want to thank the priests and deacon for joining us in this celebration also. And I would like to thank the organizing committee and all the volunteers who have worked very hard to make this celebration a joyful, meaning one, meaningful one. So thank you all of you. So of course it's time to say Kyong Hi Huat Chai to all our Hokkien brothers and sisters. And it is always the story of good triumph over evil. It's always good will triumph over evil. And I wish all of you a safe journey back home, especially those who came from far. And we will have supper together, uh, a simple dinner supper together, together outside in the hall, outside. All of you are invited and I think that's it. Okay. Uh, one more announcement. Uh, we now invite James Chin, the chairman of the Parish Pastoral Council of City Parish, to give a basket of fruits as a token of appreciation to the Cardinal. Please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Pray over the people. May bountiful blessings, O Lord, we pray, come down upon your people that hope may grow in tribulation. Virtue be strengthened in temptation and eternal redemption be assured through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. I think, I think there is an instruction about the distribution okay. of food. Um, leaders of the respective churches, please collect the food at the registration counter. And you may have your food at the hall or the canopy area. Thank you.